Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Love and Jesus, and today we're on Proverbs 9 8. Reproof not a scorner, at least he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. We had got into this with the last verse we just went over, 9 7, and it's basically someone who doesn't value the wisdom of God, someone's heart who may be hardened. If you correct them, they will not like you, they will hate it. And it's telling you sometimes not to correct them because their heart is hardened. Whereas a wise man, if you correct him, will love you. As I was studying this scripture and praying over it and reading over it and studying it and praying, the Lord just touched my spirit and I was just like, praise the Lord. You know, he's so amazing. He gives us his word as a teaching, as a guidance to show us what to do in everyday life with others, with ourselves, and how to have that wisdom and direction in life. But at the same time, he gives us this information, but he opens the door for it to have even more of a daily relationship with him. Because as we look at the Bible, we have to remember that the Lord says that this is talking about someone's heart is not right with the, the Lord, that their heart might be hardened. We only know this not by appearances, but what is inside of them. The person who knows the most about what's inside of a person is not man, but God, which is what we talked about last time. So as we look at this, we clearly see that at times we are not supposed to reprove someone because they are a scorner. It does not give us a list of physical attributes that a scorner would look like or even the behaviors that a scorner would do. It doesn't say, okay, the scorner is going to appear to be 20 years old, male, and they are going to, you know, walk in and not speak to anybody. That's the scorner. No, it doesn't tell you behavior traits. It doesn't tell you what they physically may look like because this is all about the heart. And it doesn't say go ask someone else who is the scorner. No, we're not to go to other people to ask who the scorner is. We are to go to the Lord Jesus Christ because it says in Samuel, once again, man looks upon appearance and God looks upon the heart. Once the Lord tells us about the spirit, he can tell us. Um, he can tell us with the Holy Spirit, give us a conviction or give us a peace to approach some people who may be wise and, and not to approach some people who are a scorner. And the same part goes with the wise man. The wise man does not list a physical attributes. And even though it says man, man can mean man or female. It's not long robes, guy who has a beard, who is uh, 54 years old as the wise man. <laughs> that will love you and this is the only person you can go to to rebuke because they will love you if you do that this is once again we have to seek the lord we take the scripture we take our prayer time we go to the lord seeking him and asking and then we will get a peace or we will get a conviction within our spirit and then we can know how to apply this to certain people so I pray that the Holy Spirit has encouraged you today with this word of the Lord, and I thank you for watching.